This video demonstrates how to perform and interpret a visibility analysis or viewshed operation in ArcGIS Pro. We've got a DEM here. This is uh, some area in southern Benton County uh, along the Yakima River. Uh, we also have a point shape file here of some proposed cell towers. I'm going to make these a brighter color uh, so we can see them. Actually, let's make them yellow. Um, and we want to know uh, how many people will be able to view these towers from different points around the landscape. The towers are proposed to be 60 meters tall. The people uh, we can suppose are about 2 meters tall. Uh, so we can take those into account when we run the analysis. Notice that the XY units of our DEM are in meters. Also our vertical units here are in meters. Uh, usually it's easiest to reproject your data so that the uh, vertical units will match up with the um, XY units or use raster calculator to convert the vertical units to something uh, that matches your XY units. Uh, so I've got those matching that means I'll have a Z factor of 1 and this will be a pretty straightforward analysis. I can do it all in one tool in ArcGIS Pro. This tool is called Visibility so you can just search for it here. We use the one from the Spatial Analyst Tools. Uh, this tool has quite a few options. Make sure you don't use the ones called ViewShed. Those are older tools. They don't do quite as much. Visibility is more of like a Swiss Army knife type of tool. It does a lot of different things. It has more functionality, uh, which we'll review in a minute. So let's take these uh, step by step. The input raster is going to be the DEM that we're looking at. And then the input polyline or, or point observer features are going to be these towers. Now, you might be thinking that uh, we're looking at human beings on the ground observing the towers, but we have to think about it sort of in the other direction for this problem. So uh, in the visibility tool, the observers are always the uh, file that you're uploading of the fixed uh, points or lines. Uh, we can have an output raster. Let's just call it visibility towers like this. Um, our Z factor is going to be 1. Uh, as I described before, let's choose to use earth curvature corrections. Uh, usually a good idea. Um, and make sure you expand all these observer parameters. You're going to get quite a few other options here, and there's a couple that are really important. Uh, the first one we'll set is the observer offset. This is uh, how high these features that we uploaded are going to be above the ground. So these towers are going to be proposed to be 60 meters high. We need to set an observer offset of 60. Uh, the surface offset, on the other hand, uh, which I inadvertently skipped, I forgot to uh, supply that, but we can supply it now. Uh, the surface offset is the height of any area on the landscape that would be looking at the observers. So that's where we put in our height of a human being, because a human being could hypothetically be anywhere here, and uh, we'll put in two as in an estimate of two meters off the ground. And I guess if people got poor coverage, they could hold their phone up till it was six feet high or two meters high, uh, roughly. Uh, so the rest we can just leave uh, the default for now, and we'll go ahead and run the analysis. It might take a while to do the analysis, uh, because there's a lot of uh, internal calculation that needs to be done to create this output. Now, in, in addition to uh, being able to create these types of visibility surfaces, interpreting them is also important. So when this comes out, we'll make sure to look at what it all means. And uh, here we go, the tool completed. So we have areas that are empty. Notice there's some no data cells where the DEM is shining through. Um, and we also have uh, one, two, three, and four. Those are the values here in our raster. Uh, so these darker red areas are places where a person standing on the landscape could see all four towers. Uh, the no data areas are places where the, the person on the landscape could see zero towers. And so uh, those are places where there would be no coverage. Now notice this tower is very close to the top of the ridge, but apparently it didn't get right to the top because there's some obscured area back here where uh, the tower cannot be seen at all. Something that uh, could also help us uh, conceptualize this is by viewing this in uh, three dimensions. Uh, so let's insert a scene here. Uh, what, what I'll have to do here is uh, go in and add the data from my project database that I had, where I had put this output.
This is called Visibility Towers. And right now I'm just draping it over the default elevation surface that's streaming in from Esri. That's fine. That surface is just as good, uh, if not better than the DEM that I had in my other view. So we'll just be able to see what this visibility looks like on the landscape when we tilt it and view it in 3D. Okay, so here's our surface and let's just uh, use the mouse wheel, hold that down. And now you can see some of the terrain features. There's that really big hill. Notice that in this flatter valley area, we're seeing all of those um, darker red pixels where we have a view of more towers. If we wanna see the towers, we can add them on also. I've now added the towers and this layer has, uh, this visibility layer has loaded. It's a little bit difficult to see the tower, but it's represented by this dark dot right here. Um, so again, we can see how it relates to the ridge top as we zoom in. From back here, we're not able to see that if we're on the ground. Uh, in contrast, if we're down here, uh, we're a we'd be able to look around and see many towers from this location.